Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Long time no see. Well, we've been off the air for a little while, and as I promised when we went off the air, we were going to come back with something new for you. And that something new is going to start in January. We're going to start Dr. Gary's weekly tune-up, and the weekly tune-up is going to be a concise program, very similar to the daily tune-up, with a little deeper content with each subject matter. That's what you've been asking for. So that's what we're going to do. That's coming in January, right after New Year's. In fact, I can't believe it's the holiday season already. And one of the reasons I really wanted to send this today, not only to tell you about the weekly tune-up starting in January, but was to wish you a happy holiday season. Many of you have kept in contact with me over the last few months, encouraging me to go back with something that you enjoyed these programs, as silly as sometimes they are. And I appreciate that. So we're gonna come back with a weekly tune-up. Also, during this holiday season, I think it's pretty obvious we're in some interesting times right now. And I just wanted to say something to you I think is kind of important, coming from my heart to yours. Each one of you are kind of my family. Even though some of you I've never met, many of you I've talked to on the phone, emailed, and some of you we've never met. But I want you to know that I'm just not doing this to be doing this. This is important to me to be of service to you. One of the highest orders of being a human being is to serve another human being, and this is about the only way and the best way I can do it. This holiday season, I want all of us to pull together as a family. Here in America, America seems to be under siege right now from about everybody, about everywhere in the world. A lot of people don't understand what we're all about. I understand that. Many young people right now not getting it, not because they can't, well, they don't want to, it's just that they haven't been taught properly. And this isn't a pun against any teachers out there. It's just we're living so fast sometimes our values seem to be left on the back burner while we just are in survival mode. Right now during the Thanksgiving season, if you have a family, be with that family and love that family and really let them see who you are and be who you are. Be authentic. Christmas is coming and it's more than just buying gifts, going to the mall and giving somebody a gift either out of guilt or love. The greatest gift you can give is your time. And right now, none of us have much time. Seems like we're working so hard that really, a lot of our loved ones fall to the back burner and are not getting the attention they deserve. Let's make a point this holiday season to connect with our family, connect with our friends, connect with ourselves, And let's really become the Americans, the humans that we are and really put love first, and sometimes our fear and our anguish and our resentment behind, and connect with someone. The greatest thing we can do is to inspire and motivate someone else. Each one of us, that's our charge in life. It's not to be a banker or a lawyer or a doctor. It's to inspire and motivate someone, to carry someone along, to help someone. Let's do that. Let's have a spirit of forgiveness, a spirit of making things happen because we can allow some things to happen and steer ourselves through that maze. And let's put our best intentions forward this holiday season collectively so we're focusing on what we want rather than what we don't want. No matter what the conspiracy theories say, no matter what the Mayans say about the Mayan calendar, no matter what's going on, let's decide, let's get through this year and make next year an extraordinary good year. Not because we have to, because we choose to. I'll see you in January with the weekly tune-up. You have a great holiday season. And to all of you who are my family, all of you are my family. I love all of you. I appreciate you being in touch with me. And pass this along to someone. Maybe we can help them too. Until the first of the year, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary day. Bye-bye.